Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. As I like to say it, where I post helpful yet entertaining video weekly. Well guys, if you guys haven't seen some of the videos that I've been doing lately, uh, I have gone on to fishing and kayaking for the whole nine yards. And, uh, and I don't know if you guys have uh, known or mentioned that I mentioned to you, I, I live in a community where there's a big lake just about a walk away from from here and uh, you know I'm trying to figure out here guys and see how I can actually make uh, a cart and uh, something that I can use to transport the kayak from here to the lake which is about five ten minutes walk that is and so I have actually been watching several videos online and there's so many ideas guys and I figured I'll uh, do the same thing I'll do the same concept out of all this combination of videos that I've seen. Uh, I don't know, I uh, have this um, crate and uh, basically here guys, uh, I know a lot of fishermen have been using this on their kayak to actually store a lot of their uh, equipments in the whole nine yards. And so I am going to build something out of whatever I have at the house, uh, stuff that I, I'm barely using or scrap or things that I've been keeping or hoarding for the past many years. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna do this. It's fairly similar to a lot of videos out there, but there's a slight variance on how I'm gonna design mine and how going to be uh, lighter and, and more agile it is and easier to store in the process. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Well, guys, as always, I put on my thinking cap again one more time and uh, I scramble around the house uh, looked into a lot of the scraps and materials that I've been keeping uh, in the house and I'm going to show you guys what I have here that I'll be using to build this cart slash crate that I can actually carry with me on the kayak uh, and uh, something that's really light that uh, you know it won't uh, you know cost me at all uh, money wise and at the same time it's going to be super light for me to carry around uh, because that's why I like my kayak and things that I've actually put in in the kayak are mainly plastics that uh, keeps the the weight and uh, the beauty thing with this recreation kayak is that it's very light and I want to keep it that way. So anyways guys, we'll continue on with the theme. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I have here. I got uh, a bunch of um, piping, uh, some um, plumbing pipes, that uh, you know, plastic pipes, PCB, uh, PCB pipes that I have lying around and I kept them and I did a piece and a, a bigger piece here that I'm going to be incorporating in the process um, as well. I have this uh, stainless steel um, pipes or what do you call it, metal. Um, I don't know what you, you truly call this thing, but it's, it's basically, it came off or, uh, you know, it came with the, um, the lights uh, the chandelier light that we put on our bedroom uh, not too long ago and I figured I'll keep it and maybe I think there's a use for it at some point in time and guess what I'm going to be using this guys it's a stainless steel solid metal here uh, and it has tread in both ends which I'm not really going to use in this process and I'll show you how uh, but I'll be using this in combination to uh, this plastic pipes to be able to put a wheel on our crate here that I'll be using to store a lot of my stuff. There's two wheels here, they're super light wheels. Uh, in fact, I actually took this off my um, golf cart, golf uh, crate, and uh, basically I'm just reusing it, given that, uh, you know, if I'm not using my, I'm not golfing at all, I'm not using my cart, I'll be using this for my fishing. So anyways, it's really nice tires. Um, they are quick release. And there's a, a basically a, a, a plastic tab here that you can tighten to uh, keep the um, the wheels tight on the on the hub there. So in the shaft. So anyways, I'll be using this guys and reusing it uh, and borrowing it, and uh, I could then use it on both ends, either for fishing or for my golfing. So anyways, stay tuned. So guys, I have a 5 8 drill bit here that we'll be using to drill a hole right here. 
So hopefully we got uh, a pretty good um, space here to actually drill a hole. And uh, I think we should be fine if I center it in the middle here. Yeah, I think I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark a center of some sort, a pilot hole here, so we don't make a mistake. All right, folks, what I did is I cut a small piece of the actual pipe itself, the small pipe that we'll be using to uh, double the shaft. And I'm gonna place it here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and hit the center of that with uh, this one here. And uh, we'll, make up a, we'll make a pilot hole there, guys. So that way we don't have to worry about it not being center. So there, that's one. And then we'll hit it with this one because this is the exact um, width for the actual pipe itself. So we'll drill one hole here. Hopefully there's enough room again. We're just perfect right there, guys. So just to see if it, uh, the, our pipe itself here fits, um, it's slightly tight still, so I'm gonna try and make it, oh yeah, there you go. So it's nice and snug. That shouldn't be a problem there. It should, uh, at some point in time, it should loosen up in the process. So yeah, this is nice and snug. So we will, that should work right there. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side by flipping this over again. We'll put this in place there in the middle and uh, we'll make uh, again a notch in the middle there the exact uh, center or so that's our pilot hole so that way we're right in the middle there and then we'll put a drill through Nice, and let's try out our wheels here. Now let's work this baby in. There you go, like so, and then our inner shaft. like so, put our wheels in, and our other wheels, and what I'll do is I'm going to measure up I'm gonna measure up this uh, this this portion here, guys. You guys can see I'm gonna measure both of this to make a spacer, a bigger spacer, so that way prevents the whole shaft from shifting back and forth uh, in the long run. And uh, just to see what we have here quickly, nice. So as you guys can see, it's pretty much good to go. It's nice and sturdy. And uh, I'll cut the spacers in and jam it in there and see how it looks like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now I cut uh, these two pieces here. And uh, basically, they will be inserted on both ends here. And this is just to prevent our whole axle from shifting back and forth here, basically, once we're using the wheels. So putting the wheels back in place. Tightening it up. Putting the other one in. And that's basically it. Voila, all done. And uh, I'll be building something to either uh, insert the uh, wheel at the top end here 
when I'm actually not using the uh, the wheels. When we're not using this as a card, I have this uh, pipe here that I'll be zip tying here. And uh, what we'll do is we're gonna use this as our holder for the wheels if we're not using it. Uh, ties and off we go so if we're not using this baby uh, we'll just have to take it out of here unmount it insert it in here guys Put our second one in. And off we go. This is how it's going to look like, guys, uh, when uh, the crate and the cart, uh, crate slash cart is going to be dismantled and in the uh, stowed position. Uh, as you guys can see, I have the um, the holder originally back here, but I decided to put it down here, uh, given that the shaft is too long for it to fit uh, horizontally, that is. So I basically, you know, put it down this way so it fits nicely, and then uh, lock it in and uh, stow it on the back there this way. So as you guys can see, picture the kayak, it's an upside down right now, but that's how that's gonna look like, guys, when uh, uh, it's on uh, the rear here. The next plan will be is to put a uh, insulation. I have this rubber uh, mat here that I'll probably incorporate uh, into putting uh, some padding around this area here. I could also use the insulator for the pipe, um, for hot pipes, that is, at some point, uh, if you guys are using uh, a copper, um, insulator for piping that uh, people have been using to put here as well. I was thinking that I'm gonna work with this one and see if this works, uh, having to uh, put some padding here um, into the handle as well and uh, see if that works for our kayak there. Well, here's the finished product, guys. Here's our cart for our kayak here. As you guys can see, I got the uh, strap in place already it's a ratcheting strap and then uh, as you guys notice here i already put the rubber uh, protection for uh, where we could try and sit the kayak on the bottom there making sure it doesn't scratch or damage the bottom it's basically this rubber thing that i have here i wrapped it around and zip tied it and uh, i will give this a try and see if uh, it's enough padding in there if it's not then we can add some more but uh, I'll be taking down the kayak soon here, guys, and, uh, and give it a try. Slight revision on our initial design, guys. Uh, I have actually moved this brace again Instead of on the side, I moved it up here on the top and zip tied it across basically, as you guys can see. And then I wrapped it with the rubber of a, um, padding right here. Um, and I'm also adding another one of this on the opposite end and do the same thing, wrap it again uh, like so. The problem that I came up with is, uh, or I ran into is that uh, it's actually, the padding is not high enough to be able to, uh, when, when the cart is actually sitting here, it's not deep enough or high enough to actually hit the bottom of this curve. So um, the only way we can do it is to equalize 
the look of it. It's gonna look a lot better for sure because now it's equal. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Well, guys, um, here's pretty much what we're going to do is that we're, we're going to um, staple it so that way we can lock it in place. First of all, and then uh, we'll wrap this baby in there. And uh, I'm actually getting hot here right now, so I took off my jacket, my sweater. It's a little um, getting warm here, so. it nicely and uh, I probably will just have to cut this off so that way it's just going to be perfect uh, size but uh, as you guys can see it works well it's super light easy to maneuver awesome it's so light guys works really well well guys it's pretty much done and as always Keep on wrenching and most importantly, stay safe out there guys. Peace out.